Hello everybody, John Bonham here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. How's it going? Hope everyone's well. Uh, today is St. Patrick's Day, hence the uh, clover shirt I'm wearing today. So uh, today I'm doing a review for the Shave It Shadow Monster Razor. This is a beautiful thing, this razor. I love it. Um, it's six inches. It's aerospace military grade aluminum. It's very nice. 59 grams. Um, he had been at Shave It Shave Co. has a uh, four inch version. This is the six inch version. Um, blade gap is 0.76 millimeters. So this is technically considered a medium aggressive razor. Um, I don't, I personally think it's milder, but just for the heck of it, I put in a Voskod blade. If you're not familiar with those, those are milder blades. And um, I'm using pre-shave oil. I'm, I'm doing something that just, you know, I usually I use a four-piece shave. I use the oil, the soap, post, you know, the splash, then the balm. So I'll be doing that. Um, I'll probably just do the uh, soap and splash on camera just to get the uh, video going quicker. But um, this weighs 59 grams. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, the handle's half an inch thick. So it's a lightweight razor, but it's really nice. It's very comfortable. And that's a very, I, I personally like long handled razors. This is a long handle. This is the longest handle razor I own. Um, so this is, this is very, a very nice razor if you get a chance to try it out. Um, in the United States, so it was uh, to my door, $75. So say a 63 with the exchange rate, um, US dollars. And then um, for shipping, because it's a Canadian company, it was uh, 75 So let me get my face wet and we'll get lathering going. Okay. Um, he has the four inch shadow as well. And uh, a guy named Tobin did a really good review on the four inch regular shadow razor if you get a chance go check that out he did an awesome video on it and for the soap i'm going to be using uh astro planeta by phoenix shaver i was trying to be really careful what i use for the soap i didn't want to use anything too out there that you know a lot of people wouldn't use i figured phoenix is well known enough that enough people would have it and you know it's slick enough widely used his formula and stuff so thought I'd go there now I'm just gonna face lather rather than bowl happy St. Patrick's Day everybody if you celebrate if not happy St. Patrick's Day regardless this mustache this Huge, ridiculous mustache. It's a fuzzball right now because I have nothing in it. Because I'm doing this video. Did it for November. So, right now, I have a lot of facial hair. Usually I don't have the mustache. I don't have the soul patch. What I usually have is just the sideburns and the chin hair. A little dry. I'm gonna have to have a little bit of water here in a second, but I just want to get some on my face before I thicken it up. So this shave, it works out a little bit for. I'm trying to do a shorter video. I'm just gonna be doing my neck here. So you are in for a treat, man. This is a great razor. I remember having my eye on it for quite a while. Yeah, too much water. <laughs> and I uh, finally dove in, grabbed one, and I'm glad I did. If you watch Tobin's video, he'll tell you it just fits in your hand perfectly. And I agree with that one. It's a good statement. There we go. Thicken it up a bit. 
And I'm trying to get through this too. I usually make 30 minute long videos, 25 minutes, 30 minutes long. And no one wants to sit through a 30 minute video on one item, you know. So. All right. Uh, Shave It Shave Co. Like I said, they're based out of Canada. He has two different soaps that I kind of wish I I wanted to have for this video, and I ended up not being able to have some stuff in life as it goes happen. Or I just got distracted. And, um, he has a soap called Foam, which is beer based, and another one called Blue. And he sent me Ben sent me samples of both of them and they are just remarkable soaps I haven't used them on camera but i did um i used this blue and it was nice all righty so i do have pre-shave oil on using lather and wood unscented pre-shave oil and i'm going to do i usually do two passes I'm going to do with the grain and against the grain. And against the grain for me under my neck, unfortunately, is sideways. All this hair grows that way. I call it a windstorm because it's just literally like a field of grass and the wind's just blowing across it. Let me move that out of the way so you can see. And the Boscod blade, first use. Shave it. Shadow Monster Razor. Here we go. Try to use water as little as possible. I know it's highly unpleasant. I also do maintain a beard line. And this thing's really nice with doing that I'll go ahead and show you the blade exposure on this it's quite a bit of blade exposure not terrible And considering the amount of blade you can see, I don't feel a lot of it. Look at how quick that went. Wow. And it just fits in the hand very well. I say that the best way I can think of to describe it is just you, you pick it up and it feels like you've used it. I mean, you just feel automatically comfortable and familiar with it. And one thing I will say is as someone who has primarily used stainless and heavier, heavy, heavy stainless steel razors, I'm used to heavy and I'm, with that I'm used to uh, the weight of the razor doing a lot of the uh, shaving form along, you know, instead of me pressing it's a good transition pretty easy to make Using my green sterling brush too. It is St. Patty's Day after all. all right, second pass. Just 
Beautiful. Nice comfy. Now one thing I'm gonna give Ben is 75. Cause I consider it local. I'm United States, but it's it's not transcontinental. So I, I consider that pretty local. It's all manufactured in Canada. He kept it in his home country, which is very cool. But also extremely hard to do and keep the price low. That's why a lot of times you'll see these razors coming out of China. I mean, they'll remind you of one that you know is high quality, high end and expensive, but they outsource and they just get it cheaper. So Ben, has kept it in-house and has kept the price low. I mean, $70, $75, including shipping. This is to my door, $75 is remarkable. Considering how difficult it is to keep prices down. So thank you, Ben. Great razor, man. I think I'm actually done. I usually do two passes and a touch up. But I don't think I'm even going to do that. All right. At the end of every shave, I'll re-lather and just let it sit there for the skin food. And then I do my post-shave routine with the splash and the balm. So I'm going to pause this. Let this sit here for a minute and I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. All right, well, dare I say, that might actually be a BBS. Damn, almost, so a DF, DFS. You know what, fine shave, in case there's anyone young watching this video. Um, so that was really good. I'm gonna do my splash real quick. My usual routine. Uh, Shave It Shave Co. puts out some really interesting stuff. Ben does a good job with um, putting out unique items. He just did a, uh, he has a carrot, monster carrot, I think it was called. Really funny. Uh, he had an icy. The handles are different, different types, different colors. He has a, uh, a razor pen that I want to buy. Just, you got to have a razor pen, man. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, this thing, again, it I, I took a screenshot of it when I came across it. When I see something I want and I'm interested in it, I take a screenshot so I don't forget. And then I go back and look at it. And so this sat in my camera for a good while before I finally gave it a shot. If you've seen this and you're thinking about it, get it. If you um, haven't heard of it and you're curious about it, get it. For uh, I sh should have brought a ruler. I mean, six inches, but yeah, six inches versus seeing what it looks like. I mean, here's a normal tube of toothpaste. Here it is in comparison. So, big boy an awesome awesome razor the Voss God worked in it beautifully um, just in case you're wondering I'm using his uh, matching splash here's the pre-shave oil I used and for the post-shave balm using the Cremo Heritage so yeah good stuff Say stuff don't want to come out. There we go. Really good shave. 
As far as a medium aggressive, I don't think it was that aggressive. Um, I used, like I said, I used a, a very mild razor in it, a blade, excuse me, the Voskod. If I bumped it up a little, like, I like Parker razors a lot, I like Voskod, I like uh, Aster Green is one of my all-time favorites. Um, if I went up to more aggressive ones, like all the way up to Feather, I don't know. I'm kind of curious how a Feather or something more aggressive would work in this. A Gillette Ruby, something like that. Um, I don't know. I'll play around with it. In the meantime, this is going right there in the top five of my rotation. Beautiful. Um, go get one. Shave it, shave co. Check them out. They got lots of other good stuff too. Check out his soaps. They're in puck form, so I, I love pucks. I'm going to go get me a couple of those. Um, yep, that's about it. Look at that. Great shave. Great razor. Thanks for watching. Happy shaving, everybody.